Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal Jack Sigma. This Jack Sigma card looks like he's going to be one of the best value cards, regardless of position in my team. A uh, center or power forward option is less than 30 KMT and is an absolutely elite card. I think I'm, he's going to be better at power forward, and I'm going to be running him at power forward in today's video. But I'm excited to use this card because I think he's going to be an elite pick and pop power forward, really good defender, and just overall a great card. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 5,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day this is actually going to be the sixth video of the day we're pumping out content for y'all today and i would really appreciate your support if you haven't already if you do subscribe uh, one other thing i want to give a huge shout out to my boy kg for letting me hop on his account to record this video in addition to the pack opening and the james wiseman video that i did earlier today really do appreciate him helping me out with content i'm going to leave a link to his twitch down in the description below make sure you go drop him a follow and show him some love without further ado let's hop right into it let's see what sigma is looking like so jack is a 611 power forward or center option 99 offense 99 defense coming with an 88 driving lamp uh 90 mid-range 93 pointer 90 standing dunk 95 driving dunk 84 ball handle 92 block and 94 interior 85 steel 84 perimeter solid rebounder and a 90 speed 90 excel 88 speed of ball 84 lateral quickness so statistically he's pretty solid all the way around 95 driving and flashy dunk tendency is amazing defense tendencies are also really really good overall looks like a great card on paper badge wise comes with 22 hops as well which is a ton for a galaxy opal catch and shoot corner specialist brick wall drop stepper rim protector box clamps interceptor intimidator post rise or rebound chaser post lockdown tireless defender blinders limitless spot up downhill quick first step dead eye sniper limitless takeoff volume shooter and fast twitch a great mix of hall of fame badges a ton of shooting and defensive ones and some really good finishing and playmaking ones like quick first step and limitless takeoff as well 42 golds additionally include post spin technician lob city finisher glue hands dimer pickpocket pick dodger chase down artist uh, pogo stick mismatch expert worm rise up chef uh giant slayer bailout set shooter unpluckable stop and pop cream machine hot center unstrippable mouse mouse bullet passer ankle braces menace and hustler badges to add there are a few that i would add to this card uh probably honestly slippery off ball ball stripper you could also add a handles for days or a slithery finisher or a quick chain or something like that if you want to doesn't need a lot of badges though he comes really complete and looks like one of the best power forwards in my team all right, checking out Sigma in freestyle. Let's see how he moves. So he's got fundamental dribble style, which is solid. Not going to be much of a playmaker in the, um, at the power forward position. That's not really required. But uh, he's got fundamental dribble style, so there is that. And the jumper is very smooth and very easy to green. Definitely a very, very good jump shot. Going to be elite in the pick and pop for sure. Hot spots from everywhere outside the three-point line. And as I said, the jumper is super smooth. It is a very, very smooth and quick release. As y'all can see, I shot a late there. But a uh, very, very good release for sure on this Jackman Sigma card. I'm a big fan of what he's going to be able to give you as a pick and pop big man uh this camera angle looks a bit high i don't know maybe i'm bugging um uh, it is a bit high let's let's reset that but uh yeah sigma's definitely gonna be a great card i'm very excited to use this card see how good he can be as a pick and pop big also has half quick first step so he's gonna be able to play make a little bit catch the ball attack the rim half limitless takeoff as well so he's gonna be a great slasher that is a heck of a dunk animation right there hopefully he's got some good safe dunks as well because i don't really want him doing windmills safe dunk that's not terrible we'll take that safe dunk. that's fine uh and yeah i think he's gonna be really good pick and pop big man a super solid defender he's got good size 611 at the power forward position overall i think sigma is going to be a beast and i'm excited to use the cards without further ado let's hop into a game let's see what jack sigma can do all right hopping into this game let's see what mr sigma is looking like let's see if he's got enough offense to be one of the best power forwards in the game i think he will uh with half quick first step good dunking animations and a nice jump shot i think he's going to be really really good as he gets right to the rim and throws it down that's a great dunk animation not just a good dunk animation that's phenomenal that animation right there is going to be very hard to block and it's very fast and from far away that's that half limitless takeoff right there triggering so that's definitely nice to see to start off unfortunately we do foul there but i love that dunk animation by jack and him having that ability in addition to the ability to knock down the open three is going to make him a very valuable offensive power forward all right jack come set me a pick and pop let's see if we can get you a three-point catch opportunity this possession uh or well you cut i don't know why he cut i tried to run a pick and pop but he cut to the rim but we'll take our dunk it's a free dunk an easy bucket for him i like that he's got that standing dunk as well he's looking solid so far let's see if he can we can get something going on the defensive end of the court x switch good d pick up the roll Oh, great defense by MJ playing that beautifully. Yes, sir. This is a great defensive possession. We got to finish the possession and secure a board. Beautiful job. Let's get out and transition. Let's see if we can get a pick and pop here with Sigma. Come on. Size up. Yes, sir. 
hit the pop wide open catch and shoot that's a mid-range jumper but we'll take it it's an easy bucket for jack sick he's looking good so far on the offensive end of the court give me a steal mj ah, i thought that was gonna be a steal good d good d yep good defense yes sir good d ream is uh, you're gonna mash ream i don't think that's gonna work that is not a strategy i would have ever entailed uh drag back chill can we get a drag back please i can't get any of my movement to trigger right you know what we'll take our oh no we won't i lied I want to hit Jack. Come on, Jack. Catch and shoot again from the mid-range. Green light, and he is up to eight points. Definitely scoring at will right now. Good board by Sigma as well. Yes, sir. Pushing transition. He doesn't have the best full court stakes, but he can get the job done. Yes, sir. Look at him bursting as well. Blowing by to the rim. He's going to draw a foul. We're going to get a chance to see what his free throw release is looking like. Come on, Jack. Let's see what you got. Uh, I'm liking this card so far. I know he's not maybe the high, the best power forward in the game, but he's definitely going to be a very solid option. Good free throw release as well. Uh, he's going to be right up there with like a Jermaine O'Neal as the best budget power forwards in my team. So the best value power forwards and borderline top five power forwards at the same time. He's going to be a very good card for an incredibly reasonable price in my team. All right, Jordan, get, get Zach Sigma involved in the pick and roll. What are you doing, Jack? What are we... I mean, you know what? It's a wide open three and we wind up greening it. So we'll take it. He didn't set me a screen, but he still knocks down the open three. He's got takeover. Jack Sigma is looking like a great card right now. Another pick and pop here with Jack. Let's see if we can get him another open catch and shoot three point opportunity. That's where he's going to be so useful on offense. And honestly, we're just going to get to the rim. We're going to take our easy mash instead. Uh, six foot 11 at power forward. He's got the size to mash those smaller players for sure. Definitely not going to be on the small end of power forwards, which is super nice. We don't get to contest that. That's kind of annoying. I wanted I wanted to stop there, uh, but it's fine. We're still by 11. This is a pretty easy win, I would say. Sets a pick, sets the screen, pops beautifully, catch and shoot. Jack Sigma, that's a 24%. That's actually a greenable shot, too. I do wish he had sharp take and not uh, rim take or glass take i should say because uh i feel like he'd get those stops a little bit easier but great defense by jack there yes sir pushing in transition he feels nice and fast as well hit the corner hit it inside back out to jack come set me a screen go around the screen go all the way baseline jack sigma oh long athlete layup laying it in he's looking super nice this is a great great card is that gonna be a steal no that's not that should be that's he's throwing that full i was about to say if he had scored on that possession i just don't know uh jack oh yeah drag back I thought I might get a crab there, but we're not going to be able to get the crab. That being said, oh, I actually had a blow by. I got to take my dunk. What am I doing? Uh, go up. You know what? Sloppy possession, but it works. I think we're going to call the gameplay there. We've seen enough of what Jack Sigma could do. Oh, never mind. I got to. Might as well get a steal to finish us off, right? If you can knock down this three as well. Come on, Jack. We got to knock that. Oh, he missed, but I will take the steal. I think we could end it there. Just showing off a little bit of defense as well. All right, Jack Sigma finishes with 17 points, two rebounds and an assist, seven of 10, only one of four from three, did take a couple of questionable shots from the three-point line. But overall, Jack did play absolutely great. Let's hop back to the main menu and let's review the card. Okay, so my conclusion about this Jack Sigma card is that he is a very, very good budget power forward option in my team. I probably wouldn't run him at center. You can, but I don't think he's going to be as good at center. I will say, I don't know if he's as good as, for example, a Jermaine O'Neal. Let's just compare him to Jermaine O'Neal. Um, come here. Let's see if we can. Here we go. Uh, Jermaine O'Neal and Jack are both very good cards. They're similar in a lot of ways. Uh, Jermaine, I think I their releases are both very good. Honestly, I think they're both fine releases. Jermaine's going to be a better playmaker. He's got better sigs and honestly, is probably the slightly better defensive card as well so for me personally i think they're similar offensively but jermaine has better playmaking ability and slightly better defense so for me personally i'd probably prefer a jermaine o'neill in terms of those budget power forwards but that being said i do think jack sigma is one of the better one of the better budget power forwards in my team probably one of the best value uh, cards for his price in the game period he's less than thirty thousand mt it's an absolute steal for how much he costs versus how good he is in my team and he can compete with the best power forwards the blakes the bobs the dirks the chris boshes guys like that jack sigma is up there and definitely can compete with those top tier power forwards for a super reasonable price so hopefully y'all did enjoy this video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace